G'day guys, it's Chris and welcome. On today's episode, we're going to do a deep dive into the LifeX app. How do you use it? Is it any good? What functions can you do? That and a lot more. So let's get straight into it. So here we are in the LifeX app and I'll just put on screen now which version this is. And this is basically in February 2019. And a quick little overview, you can turn on all your lights by clicking that top left button. And what's just happened is that it's actually gone back to what its last settings were. So the ones in the home theater, which are LED strips, have gone to like a three quarter strength. Whereas the ones out the front are only operating what, 25, 30%. You can jump into each and every single light individually. So let's go to the um, front door and let's change just the front door over to let's say a nice little blue and using the color wheel here you can actually spin this around and move through all the different hues and pastels versus the more primary which are on the outer edge of this over onto the whites you can actually um, select anything down from like a 9000 k blue ice and let's just crank that right up to 100%. Moving around to your more standard colors like a 5500K daylight, neutral light at 3500, through to a crazy, crazy warm white 2500K. You can see now that the front door left is actually fully illuminated all the way around the circle. So you can actually control the lights in groups. And this is set up by yourselves and you can um, obviously turn on all the lights together. Does that and turn them on all together. So let's just turn the home theater off just to stop confusing things and let's look at the front and now you'll notice what was is going to happen is that all the lights change together get a nice little party going on if you want to but i'll tell you about effects and stuff later conversely you can change over to let's just crank all the lights up um, all the lights together so very customizable you can definitely find whatever color you want to and notice how fast they actually respond as you can see at the bottom, you've got your lights, you've got your colors and your whites, as well as your themes, including your primaries. And also, you've got your effects. And then last little feature, which I'll just talk briefly about right now, and that's so you can actually get the lights to automatically turn on and turn off at dusk and dawn and things like that. Coming back over to our create themes area, if you click on one of these, it actually um, changes all the lights and it considers them as one whole. So if we come back to the front screen now, you'll notice that the light um, variables are actually different. So if I jump back in to that theme and we click on the peaceful again, it will actually change the organization of the colors and the light intensities. Definitely, this is a lot more effective in with the LED strips compared to these lights, which are all individual and basically probably too far apart. So these themes are great and it's a lot of fun actually playing around with them. <laughs> Hygie, mm, interesting, blissful, focused, you get the idea. So let's say you actually want a little bit more fun with your lights. Then you come over to your effects tab and it's in here you can actually like animate that scene that you've actually created. So if you look now at the uh, lights, see how they're all sort of jumping around? It's pretty awesome. And so this is great and something you need to activate within the LifeX app. With this and that and with Stringify, I haven't actually been able to um, identify this is something that I can control with one of those integrator apps. So that's a little bit frustrating. A few other demonstrations of the effects that are going on here. You can do color cycle. So let's check out what that looks like on the um, app face. So I'm guessing here that the actual the light sequence is just moving through steadily but surely. What else we got? Uh, we can do flicker. This is probably a lot more effective if I put that into a warm white. So let's do that now. And within here, you can actually change a lot of variables. So in this instance, you change the speed. So the time in seconds between uh, bright flickers and the maximum brightness variation between bright and dark flickers. And these are just simple sliders that you can move backwards and forwards to change up that scene. Definitely something very cool that I'll be using for probably Halloween. Now one of the fun ones I like using is Spooky and for that around Halloween time within the themes area there's actually like a few different Halloween themes you could play with. 
And oh yes, that's looking pretty good. So now we come over to our effects and do spooky. What's going to happen here? It's going to flicker those lights like the kind of possessed, you know, type of thing you might see in Disneyland. Very awesome fun. And then finally, and apologies in advance here, you've got your strobe effect. So for those who are sensitive to flashing lights, maybe just turn away in three, two, one. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so that's essentially the LifeX app. So what do you think? Were you contemplating actually buying some LifeX likes and maybe now you are? Put your questions and comments down below. I'd like to hear from you. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Otherwise, share it on your socials. That'd be really appreciated. And if you do nothing, just stay techy.